Hello everyone. Today is very special because this is my final upload of 2019. So what a perfect time to look back at my top five moments from this amazing year. Let's get into the action. Starting off then with number five, this is going out to all those crazy bikes that I found this year. We had the tricycle, the quad bike, the petrol bike, we had the drift bike modification to normal bicycles to allow it to slide, and of course, the recent petrol bike, which was so much fun. Here's just a little mashup of the awesomeness that I was able to have on these strange bicycles. Just watching that little mashup has got me so stoked on crazy bikes and hopefully in 2020 I can find some more funny, strange and epic bikes to ride. Let's move on to the next one. Now number four, this was super awesome. This was the California trip I'd done because of Continental. They flew us out to the Sea Otter Classic event we were able to check it out, do a bit of stuff for their Gripology campaign, and of course I had some extra time to make some different videos. We flew into San Francisco, we got to do some exploring around there, which was amazing, and when we were at the Sea Otter event, we also went and bought some Walmart bikes, and were able to like ride them to their limits, with the German squad, Mark Dykeman and Lucas Knopf. This was so fun, here's a little mashup of the fun we got up to at this event. Now that was a super unforgettable time, but that was only the beginning because from California, I then took a flight all the way to Hawaii, met Max Fredrickson, and then we had a full week of the best trip I've ever done. This was for filming the How I See It video, which we'll get to later because that ended up being amazing. But as well as doing that, I was able to hang out with Who Is J-O-B. This is a professional surfer who lives in Hawaii and we did some super, super awesome stuff like this. Right, we've just turned up at Jamie's house. We're gonna do some fun stuff in the sea, but look at this view. This is his top floor and you can see Pipeline. Most famous surfs, whatever. We're gonna go down into the garage now, check out the foil and see all the fun toys he's got down below. Let's go. That slide. We're grabbing the jet skis and we're gonna head down the Holiva Harbor. We're going foiling. I'll show you the foil. But Whoa. this is the most futuristic board right here. <laughs> Are you ready to fly in the water? <laughs> Now one of the coolest experiences I got from the Hawaii trip was to ride a foil surfboard as you saw there in the clip. Um, 
Jamie took me behind his jet ski and I was able to get up first go, which he said never happened. So that is my claim to fame in the surfing world. I got up first go on a foil. Let's move on to the next one. Number three, this is when I went to Whistler for a trip. I took Tom Cardi along. We went for about five days to squeeze in as many videos as possible. And we had the best time riding what is quite possibly the best bike park in the world. And while we were there, I was able to do a cheap bike challenge. I went to Walmart and bought a cheap bike and we rode it on loads of the lower mountain. And to my disbelief, the bike didn't even break. And this was only $120. So here's some of the stuff I got up to on that bike. All right, here we go, look, the bike zone. This is the Colombian Rambler. Oh my God, this is the one. Yes. See, that's pretty crazy. You can go out there, get a cheap bike and still be involved in mountain biking. So I hope that is pretty inspiring for some of you guys out there. After that, I then decided to try riding my hardtail on the mountain and was able to take my jump bike down the new and improved dirt merchant line as well as doing tricks the whole way down which was so, so sick. Have a look at this. Yes! You! Yes! Top! Oh! Yes! This is a scary one. Oh, yes. Woo oh. Yeah. That was so insane that the jump bike was actually that smooth on a Whistler mountain bike trail. If you're ever in Whistler, get your hard tails out because that was so much fun. We're now moving on to the top two best moments of 2019. And coming in, in second place, is How I See It Hawaii! <laughs> this video was absolutely the best thing to film. I was with Max Fredrickson, we had a week in Hawaii, and the video is now on 15 million views. That is absolutely amazing. You guys obviously liked it, so here's a small mashup of some of my favorite moments from this awesome video. My God, what a view for a pump track. Oh, huge. Whoa! Whoa, how I see it, Hawaii, that turned out so good and it was definitely one of the best trips I've ever done. Now, first place, this was the fact that I got second place at the Porto Vallarta Urban Downhill Race in Mexico. Now, every year I'd, I'd try and aim to get at least one podium each season and I pulled that off straight away already at the start of the year at this amazing event. I don't need any words. Let's have a look at how cool it was. We're all bundled up the top now. We're starting the best trick. We got 30 minutes jam session, all the boys. See what we can do on these three jumps. The, the atmosphere is insane, so good. I love them urban downhill events, they're so much fun and they always have a freestyle event alongside downhill racing so all of us free riders we hit the downhill race as well and well like me don't do very well but when it comes to the free ride freestyle event 
things kick off and like you saw there I got second so I'm very stoked about that but of course there was a lot of amazing moments throughout the whole of this year and I can't leave them out so let's have a huge mashup of all the epic stuff that happened this year. Drop the music! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> there you go. Three it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. been that is so cool i'm very happy to have all of you guys here along for the ride with me and it's been super great seeing the subscribers grow all the comments and how everyone is just super supportive and awesome like you guys just rock the year has been great and i really hope that you guys have an amazing new year's party and new year's celebration and i hope that 2020 is a great year for you and of course I'd love 2020 to be a good year for me as well. That is unfortunately the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs>